Hello everyone. We are continue lecture on applications of partial differential equations. So in this lecture, we will solve few problems based on two dimensional heat equation. So given solve dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square equal to 0 which satisfies the conditions u of x comma 0 equal to 0 u of l comma y equal to 0 u of 0 comma y equal to 0 and u of x comma y equal to sin n pi by l x so using this boundary conditions you have to solve the given two dimensional heat heat equation in case of steady state so this is the general form we are solving by using the method of separation of variables for this we are assuming u equal to x of x into y of y so this is the solution for this u equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 e raise to py plus c4 e raise to minus py now using this boundary conditions we have to solve this equation so see this first equation u equal to 0 when x equal to 0 put u equal to 0 so this lhs is 0 so x is 0 means put x equal to 0 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so therefore we will get c1 into c3 e raise to py plus c4 e raise to minus py equal to 0 from this we will get c1 equal to 0 So substitute this c1 equal to 0 in the equation 3. Equation 3 is this. In this if you are substituting c1 is 0, this term will be 0. Therefore, u equal to c2 sin px into c3 e raise to py plus c4 e raise to minus py. Now use the second boundary condition. So u equal to 0 when x equal to l. Put u equal to 0. So this is 0 and x equal to l so that is c2 sin p l into c3 e raise to py plus c4 e raise to minus py from this we will get the value of p so sin p l equal to 0 so sin n pi is 0 therefore p l equal to n pi from this we will get p equal to n pi by now substitute this value in the equation 4 u equal to c2 sin p value n pi by l x into c3 e raise to n pi by l y plus 4 e raise to minus n pi by l y. Now use the third boundary condition. What is the third boundary condition? u equal to 0 when y equal to 0. Put u equal to 0. So this is 0. And y is 0 means so c3 e raise to 0 that is 1 plus this is also 1. Therefore, 0 equal to c2 sin n pi by l x into c3 plus c4. So from this we will get c3 plus c4 equal to 0. So that means either c4 equal to c3 or c4 equal to minus c3. c4 equal to minus c3 or c3 equal to minus c4. Now substitute this value in equation 5. So that is u equal to c2 sin n pi by l x c3 e raise to n pi by l y c4 value minus c3 e raise to minus n pi by l y so after that you have to take this c3 is common in this now take c3 is common now rewrite this equation c2 so after taking this c3 so c2 c3 sin n pi by l x e raise to n pi by l y minus e raise to n pi by l y now use the fourth boundary condition what is the fourth boundary condition given u of x comma a equal to sin n pi by l x so that means u equal to sin n pi by l x when y equal to a so put y equal to a and u equal to this so therefore u value sin n pi by l x c2 c3 sin n pi by l x into e raise to y equal to a at y equal to a u equal to this e raise to n pi by l a minus e raise to minus n pi by l a 
so this equation this means this value is if are, these two values are equal means so this is exist whenever except this sin n pi by l so this term into this term will be equal to 1 so then only this equation satisfies so therefore we are equating the c2 c3 into e raised to n pi by l a minus e raised to n pi by l a equal to 1 from this we will get the value of c2 c3 now substitute this c2 c3 in equation 6 that is u equal to sin n pi by l x e raised to n pi by l y minus e raised to n pi by l y into c2 c3 value 1 upon e raised to n pi by l a minus e raised to minus n pi by l a. So, read this. So, you can leave it otherwise you can convert into hyperbolic form. So, sin. So, this uh, write as sin h n pi by l y and this can be write as sin h n pi by l a. So, like that you can solve this equation. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.